Now, algicides are great, and they can be really useful with our pool maintenance. But what happens if we add algicide and our pool goes cloudy? Well, today, I'm going to go over the top five reasons why your pool may have gone cloudy after adding algicide. And the first one is this, an overdose of algicide. Adding the right amount of algicide is important, but adding too much can cause your pool not only to go cloudy, but foamy. Too much algicide can cause foaming and damage to the filter. And in some cases, too much algicide can also cause eye and skin irritation. It's always best to read the label on the bottle of algicide and dose your pool accordingly. And that dovetails into the second reason, not following the directions on the bottle. Now we all live busy lives, but it's important that we read the directions or instructions on the bottle. Different algicides can have different dosing directions. Reading the label will save time and money in solving your pool problem. The manufacturers recommend a dose based on your pool size. So it's better to start with a lower concentration and add more if needed. So let's play it safe and read before we pour. Number three on our list is adding an algicide too often. If you're finding yourself adding algicide every few days or maybe once per week, you might be overdoing it. Algicide needs time to work. Once you add the algicide, allow it to circulate for at least a week and then give it another dose if needed. And number four is adding the wrong algicide. As was already stated, there are many different kinds of algicides that contain metal mainly copper. And while these are good at helping the chlorine to kill the algae, if your pool goes cloudy after adding your algicide, you might want to consider using a polyquat 60 algicide. This type of algicide doesn't have any metals and is safe for every pool surface. And number five is adding too much algicide and too much calcium hypochlorite. Now believe me, I love me some cow hypo. Adding too much can cause your pool to go cloudy. And then to top it off, adding an overdose of algicide, well, that's a double whammy. Remember that the chlorine just needs to be maintained at two to four parts per million to kill the organic matter in the pool, and that just enough algicide is needed to back it up. More is not always better when it comes to pool water chemistry. What they are is a backup if your chlorine gets too low. It can kick in to prevent algae. It's kind of like a backup quarterback. Best practice is to read the label and follow the directions. That way, you'll be sure you're using the correct algicide at the correct dosing level for your size pool. 